Hi there and welcome to the Astoria Theatre in London for our Christmas special edition of Europe's premier rock show. I'm Vanessa Warwick, you know me and you know my co-host for tonight, Rob Flynn from Machine Head. We got a three hour extravaganza for you this Sunday evening. What's coming up Rob? We're going to have loads of good music coming to you from this MTV Roadrunner. <laughs> We're going to have all kinds of crazy people coming. We're going to have a whole bunch of good music coming to you, a lot of special interviews with all kinds of your favorite bands. And we're going to be looking at some of the best bands in 94 and some of the best highlights in 1994. That's right. Yeah. yeah, and it's all coming to you from this special party hosted by Roadrunner Records and MTV's Headbangers Ball. We call it our Christmas Rumble, and that is exactly what we're going to do now. Great music coming at you over the next three hours. Rob Flynn of Machine Head, me Vanessa Warwick, Let's get ready to rumble, to rumble right now! We got a whole bunch of good stuff coming your way. We got a lot of good videos, a lot of good bands. We're going to be talking to, asking them some questions that yeah, you people like want to hear. Yeah, people like Erosion of Conformity, like Thunder, of Conformity. Napalm Death. We're oh, going to be yeah. talking to oh, them. Yeah. Watch out for that. And we should point out we've got Machine Head live coming live up. Live from the Astoria, where they unplugged us at the end of our show, yeah. which is pretty weak, but still having a good time anyway because it's a Christmas party. Yeah! We're getting ready to rumble. Now Rob, 94, as I said, has been a fantastic year for you. You've just finished with two sold out headlining UK shows following the Slayer Tour. How did the Slayer Tour go? The uh, Slayer Tour was amazing. I mean, we were, we were very pleased with how things went. Uh, they've been, you know, like we said before in the interview, they were like some of our idols when we were growing up. And they turned out to be like the coolest guys in the world. And that ain't no brown nosing either. They were very cool and uh, we had a really good time. The tour was very successful for us and uh, it turns out we're going on the American leg. So it's going to be Machine Head, Biohazard and Slayer in the States. Oh. Oh, that is awesome. Well, congratulations for that. So apart from the Slayer tour, what was like the highlight of 94? Could you pick one moment that will always stick in your mind? Probably the, big, the biggest moment of 94 for us was the day that our record came out because it never seemed like it was going to come out. I mean, we had so many problem after problem after problem. And finally, I mean, it was originally supposed to come out in February and it came out on August 9th, the anniversary of the Charles Manson murders. <laughs> and uh, this, it was finally like a good thing. It was like such a relief. Like, I never thought it'd get done and it got done. Good. And the response has been fantastic. Do we need to remind you what it's called? Burn My Eyes. That's the Machine Head record. So um, how, what do you think of the state of heavy rock music from 94 going through to 95? Um, I think it's very good. I mean, it definitely proven to like a lot of people that heavy music in general now has to be respected as a legitimate art form because sales-wise and chart-wise, it got respect. It made stuff and it made things happen and that's the best thing that's happened to this whole music industry. Definitely. Well, I'll agree with that. And uh, you can f finish off now actually by telling us what Machine Head is going to be doing in 95 apart from uh, the Slayer US tour. Touring, touring, touring. We're going to be back here like in uh, April. We're going to be doing probably a small club headlining tour hopefully with like uh, maybe Downset or Food Factory, maybe even Mary Beats Shane. I mean, they're a really good band and 
We want to take, take like a really strong package, but definitely a small club so we can have the chaos happen tonight. Yeah, absolutely. And you're going to be running new material over. Uh, we're gonna, we got two weeks between two big tours. So, uh, I think we're going to Christmas, so we're going to Maybe we'll be on the glass tour. So, bye, bye. Bye, uh, Dave. Yeah, 1995 already mapped out from the first baby of Austria. And so, we're going to be on the glass tour. We're going to be on the glass tour. Back to the Headbangers Ball Roadrunner Christmas Rumble with me. I got Pepper and Woody here from COC kicking it at the ball, drinking up, having a good time. We just saw Doggy Dog with no fronts. You guys just got off a UK tour. How did you guys find it? Was it fun? It's killer. Did all right. Drank too much. Some of the highlights? Can't get enough of it. Beer, you know, lots of people having a good time. Yeah. What would uh, what would you consider the best show out of the whole tour? Because I can think of quite a few places that were very fun that we played together, I think, like about a week behind. Tonight was right. killer. Uh, we played London tonight. We played Glasgow. We played Manchester. Paris it's all a good cool. time. Man. It's all good. That was the highlight? That you, tonight was the highlight? Tonight was, tonight was tonight a damn was good, good show. Yeah. 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 London's cool. always killer, man. Kick butt! Yeah. So uh, you guys got a new record out, Deliverance. Yep, Deliverance. It's definitely... Definitely doing very good. Yeah, we're doing How all right. How you guys feel about it? It came out good, man. We're into it, you know? What can I say? You guys, no, that, you guys recorded it at uh, the, the Jimi Hendrix Studios, Electric, right? Yeah, Electric yeah. Ladyland. Electric yeah. Lady New York Lady. City, brother. Yeah, that's right. It's pretty cool. I heard you guys used a couple of uh, like older techniques. Yeah, you know, we just we got to use Hendrix's amp on a song. It was killer. You know, we just do it. It's cool. You guys yeah. big fans of Jimmy? Of course. <laughs> of course. Who ain't? Of course. Who ain't a of fan course. Of Jimmy, so uh, I've been into COC for a long time. I was with you guys on Eye for an Eye. We went to the hardcore stuff. Way stuff. back, man. Way man, back. I got back there. That's and it. even even after you guys changed, I loved the hell out of Blind. I thought it was amazing. Oh, thanks, you guys have done an even more drastic change on this record. I feel. How do you feel that uh, some people have kind of taken it that you aren't so genuine coming from a hardcore background and now playing? What borders on Southern Rock? Hey man, you know, uh, if, if we wanted to play Eye for an Eye for the rest of our lives, you know, we'd do it. You know, you just listen to the listen to that record, you know, fucking, it's all there is to it, man. You know, yeah. you got you got to move ahead. You got to do your thing. You got to do what feels natural to yourself. You know, exactly. that's the way I feel about it. It's a weird thing because like the uh, we take the studio as one thing and live is a completely different animal. You know, so I mean, where we come from, we still play guitar the same way we did when we were kids. But it's just more, uh, you know, the same shit live, man. You just gotta go for it. You don't hold back. Yeah, definitely. All right. What do we, what do we got coming up? One more territory. Dragged them away from the bar for like a minute. That's all they'd give me. So you've uh, got some questions for them. Yeah, so you guys are currently working on a new album, and uh, I was wondering. <laughs> I 
I was wondering if you guys had any new things you were going to throw into it or what was going to be going, anything special? Um, well, I mean, Icon did really well for us over the last sort of year and a half, so I mean, we're not going to move too far away from that, but we're going to, like, we've got better songs together now and um, the whole thing, the whole unit's a lot tighter now and uh, we've been working really hard on it, so we've got 12 songs together for the LP now and they're all, if anything, a little bit more epic than, than they were on Gothic. So, you know, I mean, that's the only thing I can really say about it. Sounds good. Okay, and you've got a bit of a drummer dilemma. There seems to be a lot of them around at the moment. Um, you, can you tell us your new drummer? Yeah, he's called Lee Morris. Um, he's from Wolverhampton. He's, he's quite short. He's a good drummer. There's not much more I can say about him, you know I mean? Drummers have a tendency to blow up, as you've seen on Spinal Tap, so I mean... We'll probably change him again in six months. No, I'm only joking, you know I mean? No, Matthew, Matthew Archer had been in the band for six and a half years. Could you tell everybody why it didn't work out with him after that length of time? Yeah, it was... I mean, it's quite sad that things don't work out after so long together, but... It's just one of those things, I mean... Things can't work all the time. It's like being married to so many people all the time. You just.